Yo, man, I always supported DJ Academics, man. I always did, man. I don't dislike academics. I know some people do, man. Um, I think a lot of people still like academics, man. But I know that there are some people that hate him. They're just like, fuck DJ Academics, man. He's a punk. I'm not in that camp, man, of those who, who dislike academics. <clears throat> I like a lot of what academics has done. But I disagree with him on some of his shit, man. Some of his analysis. Now, check it out. I lived in Chicago. And I went... Uh, I went hard in the fucking streets, man, of, of the shy, just like I did out West. And, um, you know what I mean? I was on all sides, man. To me, shit, I'm like, shit, I'm going wherever, you know what I mean? And plus I was out there, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't by myself. I mean, I did go, you know, places myself, but I was also rolling out there, um, with, uh, I'll say some individuals. So man, um, yeah, I'd be out west, I'd be on the south side, man, I'd go out east, you know what I'm saying, and I stayed up north, and uh, so anyway, man, when Academics was talking about Chicago, and Katz was like, won't you come out here to Chicago, I'm like, yo, Academics, man, I got your back, bro, you know what I mean, like, I've never spoken with Academics directly, but I used to tell him, I'm like, yo, man, don't even trip, bro, man, fuck what these niggas is talking about, <laughs> Man, fuck what they're talking about, man. I used to live in Chicago, bro. Fuck these motherfuckers that say all this shit, right? So, and I and I saw academics, his, uh, I saw him grow, man, like his audience, man, from like the very beginning, like the very beginning, like when academics was like a new YouTuber, because I've been on fucking YouTube for a long time too, off and on, you know what I mean? Not as heavy off into YouTube. As academics has been, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, I'm off and on with YouTube, just like I'm off and on with Twitter. Um, just like I've never had a Snapchat, just like I've never had an Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Uh, account ever. You know what I mean? Shit, I haven't used fucking Skype in years. Probably like, shit, 10 fucking years. I mean, I'm not into fads like some people are, man. I just, I don't rock like that, man. Like, I don't have skinny jeans. I've never owned a pair of Jordan basketball shoes in my lifetime. No disrespect to Michael Jordan. I just don't wear basketball shoes, dude. I'm not playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need to be wearing basketball fucking shoes, dude, on the streets. I know some people do. That's their thing. But that's not how I rock, man. I just don't get down like that, man. <clears throat> I wear professional business attire, man. And uh, if I have some kicks, man, it's going to be some Nike Air Max. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. Um, so, that said, man. Um, DJ Academics, man. You know, I'm peeping his intel on Shoddy, man. And how he, like, tries to defend Shoddy and shit. And, you know, he's got these people thinking, man, that fucking Shoddy uh, meant well for 6 9 and all this kind of shit, man. Listen. I've peeped the whole shit. I've seen the whole... The documents, the wiretaps, the evidence, uh, the fucking crowd shit. By the way, I'm one Sir Grove. This is C4CW casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide. And if you are true fans, that is if you are real and not unreal fans, then I, we, 495, most certainly appreciate you. But yeah, man, on some real shit, look, man, Shoddy, in my opinion, he was he was on the fence, man, okay? Now, I'm, I'm hip to his actual circumstances, man. I, I'm fucking hip, you know what I mean? Because, because I know. I've followed the whole shit. And I know people think that, that Shoddy was a ride or die kind of dude. He was a ride or die kind of dude, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was wilding out and he was doing all this shit. I grew up on the West Coast, man. I've seen niggas do the type of shit that Shotty was doing, man. You know? And I know, dude, I know he was perpetrating, man. And he was pretending, man, to, to you know, he was pretending like he was fucking harder than he actually is, man. And he was pretending to have, you know, I mean, come on, man. <clears throat> the dude was stealing, man. He was fucking stealing, 
and he was not in a good situation, man. Um, before before he connected with Takashi Six Nine, Daniel Hernandez was the one who brought Shotty up in the fucking game, and that's just the real. I mean, look, man. He might have been doing some little shit in the streets, man. He might have been hustling and doing shit. I mean, we did that shit out west too, man. And in Chicago. Huh. Full disclosure. You know what I mean? But but he wasn't he wasn't as hard, man, as the way that he was acting. You know what I mean? When when he got a little bit of money in his hand, a little bit more than he had ever had before, then he started talking real fucking brazen. Like he was talking some 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 brazy shit. Like he was a fucking five, like he was a five star general who had been on the streets forever on some type of epic, like empire level. He was talking way too fucking hard, man, for, for the position that he was actually in. The position that he was actually in, he was under people, man, and he was acting like he was over people who he was never fucking over. And, and I'm a part of the same nation, United Blood Nation. We don't throw up fives, we don't hit up fives out west, but it's still United Blood Nation. It's still you be in or you be out. And I'm just peeping shoddy shit. And here's the other thing. I saw on Jack Frost Network, before Jack Frost started to go down, you know what I'm saying, some pathway where he's beefing, you know what I'm saying, with Jimmy Jams and, you know what I'm saying, other people and stuff like this, man. Look, when 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 I was when I was still propping up BBN. Look, man, I heard the goddamn fucking phone call from federal prison from Foo Banger. Foo Banger says Shoddy is a fucking snitch informant. And Shoddy snitched on Foo Banger. Dude, how is Shoddy hard fucking core? How is he the man? How is he like... He sounds like a modern Tupac. Did Tupac snitch on his fucking homeboys? Did he help the feds connect the dots? Did Tupac tell on his peoples, on his folks? Did Tupac rat like a rat loves cheese? I don't believe so. I know Shoddy did, however, whereas. So, look, man. Foo Banger said straight up that Kafan Jordan fucking shoddy, a.k.a. ratted, that is i.e. snitched on fucking Foo Banger. Uh, hello, and that he has paperwork. He has goddamn fucking paperwork, and that his attorney, that is Foo Banger's attorney, is aware of the situation. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you guys out here who are like, yeah, shoddy for the win. He should be freed from prison. He was so fucking loyal. He was the guy that was like really the glue holding it all together. He's a fucking federal informant, man. He fucking told on Fubanga. Obviously, people don't want to have that conversation. And they want to talk about some other shit. Like, yeah, Shoddy's a fucking, man, he's a real dude. He's the guy, man, that was really a fucking, he was really a boss. Yeah, he was really the one who was, like, running shit. Um, maybe you don't know that he's a snitch? (laughs) I mean, these people are fucking cornball, dude. You know, that's how niggas get caught up, riding with niggas like Shoddy. I'm just saying, hey, ask Fubanger. You know what I mean? If if you think Shoddy is so hard, if you think he's such a fucking, such a boss, um, yeah, well then why don't you fucking roll with him, man, and see how it plays out, see how it all fucking works out, man, when the feds come, because Shoddy's the type of motherfucker who's going to bring the feds, he's going to come with heat, okay, and I'm not talking about straps, I know, he was shooting people, he, he, he evidently blasted like five people in one night, you know? I mean, any, any nigga can wild out like that and act stupid like that. You know what I mean? Anyone can do some brazen, egregious shit like that. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, whoa, yeah. Shoddy's real hard because he busted on five dudes. I mean, it's uncorroborated and unconfirmed, but let's say that he fucking did. Yeah, he's a boss. Oh, yeah, he's such a boss. Why don't you roll with him, man? Why don't you tell him everything that you're doing? Because when he brings the fucking heat, that is when he brings the feds, and the feds start fucking asking questions, he's going to fill in the gaps. Oh, yeah. He's going to fucking go out of his way to do that. He's going to connect those dots for the feds. And he's, he's going to get his 15 years, man. Instead of fucking however long, um, you know, that isn't 15 years, like life in prison type shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's going to get 15 years, man. Yeah. For being a snitch. And then his attorney is going to be like, my client did not work with the federal gun. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you dude. after hearing what Fubanga said. Yeah, totally, dude. Yeah, you're totally an honest attorney. I absolutely fucking believe your whole fucking story, dude. Yeah, I sure do. It sounds really convincing to me in light of contradictory evidence. Contradictory evidence. Other narratives. Yeah. You, man, you can't trust these motherfuckers, man. They're so fucking goddamn dirty. Just like Takashi 69 said, man. They're just some dirty motherfuckers, man. They're not loyal. Shoddy wasn't loyal. Shoddy was fucking telling, man. Shoddy was telling fish tales, man. Tall tales, fairy tales, facades. Oh, yeah. Hey, nigga. Yeah, you know, I'm so hard. I'm so bossed up now. Yeah, I'm going to talk like, yeah, I'm going to talk like Tupac. Yeah, because I listen to Tupac, man, and I'm going to sound like Tupac. Yeah, and this is what you got to do, man. Yeah, you know, so I'm, yeah, man, you know, I'm going to talk like this. I'm going to go off on a rant, and then, you know what I mean? And I'm going to say all this shit, man. I'm just going to sound so hard, man, because I'm stealing money from you, man. Yeah, and this is what you got to do, man. Yeah, you got to do this, B. Yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking so hard because I'm stealing money from you. You know, behind your back, dog. Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to, I'm almost, I'm going to sound, I'm going to sound, I'm going to, 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 I'm going to sound real hard, B, dog. Yeah, 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 um, I'm going to go on a rant, you know, because I can't just keep the shit to like 60 seconds. Like, yo, so Takashi, man, we're friends, bro. Look, I got your back. You know what I'm saying, blood? Look. Other motherfuckers want you removed from the equation here. Man, I'm with you, bro, until the wheels motherfucking fall off and then some. Okay? Whatever motherfuckers say, I'm with you. And we gonna ride this shit out. Okay? That's it. You know? You gotta watch your six. Okay? I'm gonna be there watching your six with you. I got your back fade, homie. You feel me? And you just gotta, like, be fucking solid out here in these streets. You can't be slipping. You can't be lacking. You got to keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? You can't do X, Y, Z. And if you just stick to that code, bro, if as long as you don't do X, Y, Z, I'm with you indefinitely. Nah, Shadi couldn't say that shit. He had to fucking ramble. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, B-Dog. Yeah, I'm going to have a long conversation with you like this because some niggas above me. Um, who I want you to thank, man, they ain't uh, above me. Yeah, these niggas above me is telling me, man, that they want to take you out of the game. So, um, man, I'm just going to talk for a really long time and make it sound really convincing. Like, I'm totally got, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, nigga, so, you know, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just going to uh, 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 talk like this and, 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 and go on like this. And I'm going to sound like Tupac. Yeah, and the motherfuckers going to think that I'm hard because I talk like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like McGruff, the crime dog and shit. Nigga, I'm really talking to the feds. Nigga, I'm, I, I, I mean... I mean, nigga, you got to stay away from the fret, uh, fet, feds, dog. Come on, man. Come on, man. These motherfuckers is cornballs, man. On some real fucking G shit. This nigga shoddy, man. These the, the, the sheer number of motherfuckers that propped his ass up and continue to do so to this day. Yeah, shoddy was really the guy that was like totally the mastermind and the like real fucking like, you know, head honcho that was like holding it down. Yeah, man, let him out free, shoddy. Come on, man. Shut the fuck up, man. You niggas that talk about being big bosses and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'd love for you to roll with a nigga like shoddy so he could snitch on you. So you could see for yourself what Food Banger was talking about, is talking about. Yeah, shoddy got them 15 years, man, because he cooperated. He's a cooperative. Yeah, cooperator. Guess who the other co is? The feds. <laughs> this niggas is fucking cornball out here.